Hi, my name is Sasha. And I'm his partner, Marco. And today we will be explaining symmetry of even and odd functions and functions that are neither even or odd. So just like a quick recap, an even function is a polynomial that has line symmetry over the y-axis. It has an equation with all even exponents and it can have a constant or not and still be even. And for an odd function, it's a polynomial that has a point symmetry on the origin. It has an equation with all odd exponents and no constant. And if it has a constant, it is still symmetrical but not on the origin. And finally, we have a function that is neither odd or even. Uh, and this equations with a mixture of odd and even exponents on the x's. Graphically, it doesn't go through the origin, which is 0, 0, or have line symmetry through the y-axis. Now I will explain how we can determine functions graphically. Through the even function, we can tell that the polynomial has line symmetry over the y-axis. Whereas in the odd function, we can tell that the polynomial has a point going directly through the origin, 0, 0. Whereas neither has none of these characteristics. Finally, I will explain algebraically how we can determine odd functions, even functions, and neither. In the odd function, we can determine if it's odd since the exponents on the x values are all odd. However, it cannot have a constant value or it will not go through the origin. Whereas even functions has a similar rule where all the exponents need to be even on the x values. However, it can have a constant value and still remain and have symmetry on the y-axis. Whereas neither has a mixture of even and odd exponents on the x values and constants. Now I will prove algebraically how we can differ from an odd function or an even function. For odd functions, if f minus x equals minus fx, this gives us an e odd function. When we sub in the minus x for all the x values and simplify, we get back the original equation, however with all terms with their opposite signs. The equation we start off with, we sub in minus x, and it all equals out to the exact same equation with opposite signs. Whereas in even functions, f minus x equals fx. So when we sub in minus x for all the x's in the equation, everything returns to its original signs when simplified. Basically, you get the exact same equation. Here's our original equation. We sub in minus x, and this is proven to be correct. So, in conclusion, when dealing with symmetry, graphically, there will be line symmetry when the function is an even function, and there will be point symmetry if the function is an odd function. Algebraically, if the function has even exponents, then the function is an even function, and there will be line symmetry. If the function has odd exponents, then the function is an odd function and there will be point symmetry. Just remember that if the function on a graph does not have symmetry on the origin or over the y-axis, then there is no symmetry and it is neither. And if the function has both even and odd exponents in the equation, then it is also non-symmetrical and it is considered neither. Thank you and I hope that you found this video helpful.